Okay, so here we have our hello world class, and you'll notice that we have the uh, main function here, string bracket bracket argus. We have our braces that match along with the braces for the public class. If I was going to declare variables for this main function, within the function I would basically just declare them as, say, int a equals 6. And now I have declared the variable a uh, with and set its default value or its initialized value to 6. What I might do is I might do another one, boolean b equals true. And that has now created a variable b of type boolean and has set the default value to true. Uh, we can do the same thing with the others, double z equals 5.6. Now if I wanted to cast something for the float and I wanted to do say 10.2, what I would do is I would put the letter f after that. And what this does is this signifies that 10.2 should be considered a float. And it will use the floating point amount of memory for 10.2 and put that into float f. Similarly for long, I may have a value of, of long l. And this is one of the things that works in Java. I can actually do 200 and that would work from an integer perspective into long. Even though we said Java doesn't allow, uh, doesn't automatically do casting, some of them it will allow. That's actually one of them. But if we had a number that was basically extremely long that would not fit within a normal integer, such as this one, this will actually fit. I will put the letter l after it and this constitutes um, or considered uh, as a long value or the 64-bit version. Uh, the character version, again, I might do character C equals. I will use a single quote. I will do backslash U. And then I might do something such as 0040. And that would be the Unicode character for 40, which would be put in C. I can then use these values any way I want. I could say, put the value of, say, A. So I would do system.out.println. Uh, the value of a, that's my string, and then I will do what's called a concatenation operation, and we'll see more of these as we do work with strings, a. And what this will do is this will basically output the value of a as a literal, the literal string, then append to it, which is what the plus symbol does, okay, the value of a, which is the letter a. And the system that our print line function will basically take any of the types. We don't have to cast them or do anything or convert them to strings. System that out print line will have will handle that for us with the concatenation operator. So, so this is an example of how we use the variables both uh, for declaring them, for assigning them, and then using them.